when is the official launch date for the global server? The good questions. Subscribe, please. Hi, guys. We have a girl's fun time to Exilium devlog. Uh, this actually came out yesterday, I just was too busy, but we're gonna have a look right now. They actually did a video. Um, this is, I think, a... I don't know if this is... Well, I guess technically it's a devlog, but it's, it's a Q&A, essentially, right? So let's have a look. Let's see what they say. Um, I'm actually very excited for Girls Frontline 2. Um, this is gonna be a gacha game. It's already out in in Chinese servers, I believe. I might be wrong, it might be Chinese and Taiwan and other stuff like that. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it's at least out somewhere, just not globally. It's supposed to release globally relatively soon. I know we're gonna get some betas relatively soon as well. So I'm very, very excited. In terms of gameplay, this is gonna be essentially a XCOM with waifus, which is the best. It's just the best. I'm actually very into that. I love tactical games, and I think this is gonna be mwah, peak. So let's see what I have to say. The overseas received an incredible amount of interest. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, as a bit of a little bit of as a little bit of news, uh, I think the Ghost Frontline one, the first game, uh, has been announced to go end of service. I'm pretty sure I might be crazy, but I'm pretty sure it happened. Which I mean, everybody could expect. I, I think the game was not really getting that much updated lately, but uh, there we go. Also, I just realized that uh, my display is weird, so let me fix that real quick. Boop! Uh, essentially, what you missed is that he said hello, and he's here to answer some of the most frequently asked questions, so let's go. We greatly appreciate your interest and participation. Yes, sir! I'll be answering your questions. Okay. How much do doors actually weigh? Would they break furniture in everyday life? <laughs> yeah, sure. If your PP is a furniture. <laughs> yeah, asking the real question here. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. This is a very interesting question. True. Oh, you, you, you've seen it circulating within the community. People, people just want to know if they can. Uh, if the the, the, the the tactical dolls are cowgirls, that's what I want to know. They, they want to know if they can go on a rodeo trip, that's for sure. want to make sure that those cows and bulls don't crumble under the way of the tactical dolls. <laughs> it's difficult to pin down. Uh, weight vary across different doll frames. Even among generations of the same doll model. Okay. One thing is certain, they won't be crushing any furniture. Uh, those were designed to operate within human environments and use items made for humans. After all, those are meant not only for combat, but also to live alongside the commander on the Elmo. Yeah, for sure, for sure. If they couldn't use regular human design item, the cost of building and maintaining the Elmo, and covering the commander's living expenses would be exceedingly high. Fair enough. Placing a significant financial burden on the commander. Well, it's minus one HP. Mmm, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Are you happy to see me? Is that just your wallet in your pocket? <laughs> When is the official launch date for the global server? The good questions. Okay, so they recently began recruitment for the closed beta test. And if all goes, by the way, I, I don't like playing beta tests and and like closed beta and open beta. I don't like playing beta tests for uh, gacha games because I, I just like. So you, you probably don't expect me to do any beta test coverage because I'm lazy and I already play like 10 gacha games out, that are already out. I don't have time to play a gacha game where my, uh, my progress is not going to be kept. So I'm probably just going to wait for it to be fully released. 
I'm gonna still cover like news and interesting stuff that might come out of the beta test, but I'm not gonna be playing it directly myself. So just, you know, full disclosure. Uh, if everything goes to plan, we will release the game shortly after the end of the closed beta test. So stay tuned. Okay. Will the banner and event schedule be the same as the simplified Chinese version? The release schedule for banner and events on the global server will indeed differ from the simplified Chinese version. Instead of strictly following the simplified Chinese server schedule, okay, we'll be making adjustment to enhance the user experience and expand features. Okay, that's good. For instance, to provide a more cohesive narrative, we've chosen the Sojourners of the Glass Island patch, originally launched in June on the simplified servers, at the first themed events, but part one and two of the story will be available in the basket, the patch cycle. Okay. Offering a more complete and immersive experience. Okay, so essentially, instead of delaying some of the... Instead of going with the original, like, uh, cycle of patches, they're going to accelerate some of them or, like, change the order of some of those patches so they make more sense. So what I understand from here is that the event he mentioned was actually in two parts originally, but the two parts didn't come out at the same time or one right after the other. But with the global launch, it, since they have the resources and everything ready for it, it makes more sense to release both parts at the same time or one after another so that we can get to experience the whole thing directly. Uh, so this is great, in my opinion. I wonder if they are going to make it so the global server is going to catch up with the simplified Chinese version. Because uh, I, I, I don't like when we are like six or six months or 12 months behind the base server, the, the original server. So I wouldn't mind if they kind of accelerate everything until we fully are caught up. Because I, I like being excited at the same time as everyone in the world. I don't know why, but it makes me happy. I'm just like, oh, that's cool. And yeah, I understand. Sometimes like in Blue Archive, you can, you can, there's a delay. So you can be like, oh, this is going to release. This is going to release afterward, etc. So you can prepare and plan. But I, I, I just like the excitement of everything coming at the same time, like in the zero lane for every single server. I think it's cool. I, I do think it's cool. So I, I wonder if he's going to touch upon that point. Um, but yeah, that would be that would be lovely. Highly anticipated covenant feature. This is the marriage. Uh, sorry, the oath. Any game ranked the first patch of the release version. For detailed event schedules, please follow our official social media channel and update post. There will be the official reference. Okay. Will some of the character skin from Ghost Frontline be available in the global version of Ghost Frontline 2 Exilium? Okay. Let's see. Of course, there it is. Some popular skins from Ghost Frontline, like Groza Sangria Succulent, are planned. I, I need to see what it is. Uh, girls Frontline, Groza Succulent, something. Sangria Succulent. No, that's art. Life 2D, there should be this one. Costume. Is it Crassola Volkensi? I think it is. So that would be this one. I mean, it does look good. Oh, she actually looks around whenever you put the mouse somewhere. That's cool. Oh, this one is so cute. I love it. Dinner Dictator. Oh, damn. She looks great. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. Okay. Interesting. She's the poster girl for Girls from Line 2. Oh, wait. That might have been Girls from Line 2, not Girls from Line 1. Okay. I want to see the Sangria Succulent. Skins. Hello? Hello? Skins? Ah, it's this one. There we go. Oh, she looks saucy. Okay, yeah. It's cool, it's cool. Moving on. For other highly requested skins, we'll work closely with the development team to evaluate their inclusion. Okay. And do our best to make them available. Will there be future collaboration crossovers in Girlfriend Line 2, excellent with characters from other Mika team products such as Girlfriend Line or Neural Cloud? I don't even know Neural Cloud. 
，那这个肯定也是会的。那 It's definitely on our agenda. Okay. And I can share. We'll announce any updates as soon as we can. Okay. Apart from collaboration with other marketing products, the story progresses in the game develop. Is there a possibility for commander to see collaboration involving fairies, heavy ordnance corps, tanks, or even gun dams in Girlfriend Line Two Exilium? Fairies. I guess that's just older games. The possibility remains open. Okay. We'll actively see collaboration with compatible、um, IPs centrally. As the gameplay evolves, it means to bring Commander more diverse and enjoyable experience. Okay. What are the core gameplay mechanics? Um, so it's a 3D anime style tactical strategy game. To provide players with two core experiences. The first center of mercy storytelling companionship, a hallmark of anime games. As the story unfolds, Commander will uncover the challenges Dole faced during their time apart and the lengths they went to in order to reunite. By creating new Dole and building your affection, Commanders will unlock additional interaction and gain deeper insights into them. With 3D technology, these interactions and stories come to life in vivid detail. Enhancing the emotional, yeah. The second experience emphasizes combat. Ma, this looks so cool. Tactical strategy shooting, allowing commanders to engage in thrilling combat by strategizing and directing duels against various enemies. On the battlefield, commanders can witness dynamic shooting effects as duels use diverse weapon and themed outfits, adding depth to the tactical gameplay experience. Many events have their own music themes. Is there a chance for a Gulf from Line to Exilium music album to be officially released, similar to Suomi's and Macchiato's themes?、Mm, yes, that's the plan. There we go. Quick and easy. We proceed with this one's the musical. Wait, what is that? The musical asset of Gulf from Line to average a sufficient level of depth. Fair enough. Many players enjoy the interactive photo feature with characters, such as taking pictures of them in the dormitory or having the characters take photos of Commander in real life setting. Will these features be added to Golf Online 2 Exilium? Okay, photo mode. We've also included this feature in our evaluation. We'll conduct a thorough search to. What? That went so fast. Based on okay, the commander, the needs of commander and the development capacity. Okay, so they're looking into the photo mode. However, before officially confirming this feature, we're exploring alternative ways to meet commander's request. Okay, for example, in China, we're coordinating with producers to offer offline photo shoots where commanders can visit and obtain exclusive photos with the dolls. Okay. In the future, we'll strive to create similar opportunities overseas for overseas Gulf Frontline players to take photos with the dolls, both in-game and at real-life events. That's cool. What is Yuzhong's current view on fan-made content, including fan-created games and stories spin off from around the world? Are you expecting to see more fan-made content with Gulf Frontline 2 around the corner? All right. Good question. It's not just me. Our entire team regularly browses the internet to check out communicated content. Oh god, all the porn. We've definitely come across creation from Girls Frontline players、uh, in communities and groups around the world. Whether it's fan art of Suimi's swimsuit, of course. Our cloak hides racing skin by Tide Commander. Damn, that skin, holy potato. Our double and creative memes. Me. Uh. Oh my god, the one top right. It's too over. That's pretty good. <laughs> Clearly, you don't own an air front. What is that? We're always on the lookout. When we find something impressive or funny,、uh, we share it internally and discuss it within the team. Okay. We hope that this viewer will keep creating、uh, fan content, essentially, right? We can build a lively and positive environment for fan content. Okay. Oh god, that's long. Many commenters following Girls Frontline 2 Exilium social media account have noticed that when they click the link in the post to pre-register in mobile app stores, they receive a message saying this game is not available in the region. Additionally, depending on the region, searching for the game shows two different publishers, Dark Winter and How Play. Are there any differences between the two versions? That's interesting. I, I had no idea this was a thing. This may seem like a simple question, but it actually covers several points. Both versions are published by Dark Winter and Howplay. 
Okay, now both, both versions published by the two publishers are the same game developed by Micah Team and Sunborn. Okay. Commanders will enjoy the same in game content. Though publishing partners vary by region, obviously. Well, not obviously, but it does happen. In addition to pre-registering through mobile app store, commenters can only visit can also visit our official website to pre-register via email. But we'll notify you once they'll not become available. Lovely. For more updates, you're also welcome to join our official Discord channel. Will the two publishers share the same server with slightly differences, if any, or will they operate separate servers? Okay. Please note that there are differences in game account ownership between the two publishers. And cross-region interoperability is not supported. Okay, that's important to know. You gotta make sure that you're on the right servers if you want to play with your friends. But there might be some issues when it comes to which publisher is operating within your region. So make sure to stay tuned with that. And that you can play with your friends if you intend to play with your friend, or at least be on the same server as them. I don't know what kind of uh, potential like uh, community features exist in the game, but yeah, that's something to keep in mind. What rewards will player receive when the game officially launches? In our current plan for the game's release, uh, commanders can earn over 30 targeted access permissions, so that's like the premium currency for pools, and access permissions in total through login tasks. Okay? Additionally, by completing designated tasks, commanders will have the chance to earn over 80 extra pools for a total of more than 120 pools. The deal will be announced progressively following the closed beta test. The official account of our production team will be joining the official Discord server today. Members of the production team, myself included, will be dropping by from time to time. We look forward to seeing you in our community. Thank you all for your support for Ghost Frontline 2 uh, and the Minecraft team. The love we received from commanders worldwide has been our greatest motivation. Okay? We're fully committed to refining the game and sharing it with players around the globe. Ensuring the captivating story of Ghost of Flying 2 Exilium reaches even more people, we hope that even more players will come to love and join us on this journey. Thank you once again. And don't forget to follow our official social media platform. Okay, great stuff! A closed beta test will be gradually available across region from November 10th to November 12th. So, he said, once the closed beta server, uh, the closed beta is over, well, the game should shortly become available, right? So that means that the closed beta starts in about five days, right? I don't think it will last more than a month. So I think we can probably expect a December release or at the latest, probably in January. That would be what I think, unless there's some big issue that happens. It depends how long the, the, the beta test is going to be. Let me, let me see if, there's a, if we know. Uh, Girls Frontline 2 beta test November 2024. Uh, Exilium beta test November 9th will be sent out by email. Do we have a official post? The test will run for November 10th to November 19th. So the test runs a little bit less than 10 days, right? So I, I could see an early December release. I could see a December release for sure. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what your hopes are, are in terms of like release. If you're excited for the game, I personally am. This is everything I want. Um, and yeah, super, super excited. I cannot wait to start playing this game and covering it. And uh, yeah, drop a comment, like, subscribe, all the good, good. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.